Welcome to Herbert Strutt Primary School. I'm Sarah Corr, the head teacher, and I'm delighted to give you a tour of what we've got to offer you, your family, and your children. Our school is, sits on the outskirts of Belper. Uh, we're in a beautiful setting with a school that's about 11 years old, single form entry with 30 children in each class. So your child moves along through our school in their journey. Whilst they're here, the values that are important to us and that we want to instill in your children are about being proud of themselves. We want them to be proud of themselves as a learner, but proud of themselves as a friend and as a person, thinking about what they contribute to the class that they belong to and then to the community that they're going to grow up in. We want the children to aim high and to be the best that they can be. In reception, we have a separate behaviour system, but from years one to six, we have a badge system. Children are given a bronze badge when they join year one, and there are a set of rewards for being a bronze worker, a bronze learner. You then go on to achieve your silver, and then finally your gold badge. When your child joins our school, they'll be put into a house. The children years ago uh, had a competition and they chose the four elements. We have water, fire, earth and air. Your child will be given uh, a colour t-shirt, which they'll wear for PE, they look really lovely in those all together. And together they'll earn house points. They get collected in the jars in weekly assemblies. Uh, in each class, as well as the badge system, we have golden time on Friday afternoon and it's everybody's entitlement from year one to six to have that golden time. Our behaviour system is a set of school rules that the children and staff have brought together and they're focused on keeping everybody safe and everybody learning and everybody being happy. It's important for us that children learn to understand the mistakes that they might have made with their friendships, with how they interact with each other and we want children to understand where a situation might have gone wrong. So rooted in our behaviour policy is talking to the children. If something went wrong, if you've had a fallout, if things got a bit unpleasant, uh, where was it that it went wrong? What could you have done instead? So we coach and we develop children to understand what they could have done better, different choices they could have made, and we put in support to support children that find relationships challenging and difficult. Our view is that challenging behaviour is a child that's in distress and is trying to communicate with us. So our ethos is to listen carefully, to understand children's behaviour and to put in varieties of support. So we have a learning mentor in school and we have a skilled team of teaching assistants and staff who focus on listening, on understanding, on coaching children to be the best that they can be. Okay, we're going to start off at Key Stage 1 now, and if you follow me, we're going to start off with Peacocks. Welcome to the Peacocks class. In here we have a child-led curriculum. The adults work in all the different areas around the setting, and children choose whether they learn indoors or outdoors. They have physical development activities that start each day using Play-Doh or lightsabers and the adults will work in the child-led areas, developing the skills of speaking and listening, reading and writing and number. The curriculum in early years is based on a topic for the half term. Everything is planned around that. Our maths uh, is based on white rose for reception and elements of maths no problem, which filter in from year one. All of the resources are at a child-led height and as you've seen, baskets are available so children can take out the equipment and play with it and put it away. As you've noticed, there are toilets uh, that the children can have. This area is self-contained with thumb locks on the door so that the free flow uh, is in place that children can move about safely. Welcome to year one. 
As the children leave reception, there is a transition period. And so as you can see from this classroom, we still have some elements of child-led areas, the role play with the bakery and the workshop area and access to the outdoors. However, the purpose of year one is to get them ready for a different type of curriculum. We introduce our maths curriculum, Maths No Problem here, which moves throughout year six. It's based on developing from the concrete use of resources to abstract mathematics. If you look at our website, you'll see how our curriculum is designed and the intent of our curriculum. It's focusing in the autumn term on being historians and discoverers. As you've seen, the Great Fire of London is the year one topic. Our English is linked into this with a quality text and our mathematics stands alone. As children move into year two, the formality sets up slightly. We still have some child-led areas, but we are focusing on a different curriculum. Phonics is taught in reception in year one, but our scheme of no-nonsense spelling and grammar steps up into year two. Each of our classes has a library. We want children to enjoy and love books. And we also want them to know that in the classroom, it's a nice safe space to go particularly in the time of Covid that we have at the moment. In our school there's a culture of nurture and support for all of our children, but at some times children need more than others. We have Cherry Tree as a nurture base where children can share their wishes and their worries, and we have staff that are skilled in listening to and supporting children, teaching them skills of how to solve problems with relationships and how to find positive outcomes. Welcome to Key Stage 2. Who wouldn't want to be in this classroom? As I've said, each of our classes has a book corner, a place that's safe to come to, but a place to love books. Our curriculum, as I've said, is based upon a topic. And in the autumn, we have discoverers, we're all historians. As you'll have seen from the mind map, you can see that we have questions that lead the learning for each week. And we also have knowledge organisers, because we want the children to remember more and learn more. Our science is also taught separately and discreetly. As you'd have seen, we have vocabulary ladders and pyramids because we want the children to have an enriched vocabulary to do with science as well as to do the topics they're studying. We have an approach called Gaps into Writing where we teach specific gap skills to children each day and each week. We embed that and incorporate it with talk for writing strategies. As you can see behind me, we have models where children learn how to extract quality text, quality phrases, magpie them and incorporate them into their own writing. Maths No Problem is the scheme we use. We chose it because it embeds key concepts and builds over time. As you can see, one of our strategies for our working walls is that lessons, the knowledge that's been covered in the lesson is summarised on here so that children, if they get stuck, can use this as a tool to get unstuck. Welcome to Year 5. Uh, in year five, the teacher has introduced a book club, a book cafe. Each child has a loyalty card and they get a stamp when they've read a book. When their card's full, then they can come and join the book club. And they'll spend lunch times uh, sharing and enjoying books together. Okay, our journey of school ends with the year six classroom at the end of the corridor, a larger space as you've seen for our year six students. All of our year six children have a separate sweatshirt with year six on the back, uh, which our PTA uh, fund along with yourselves. As you can see, again, we have a curriculum led by a quality text. Year six are studying the Anglo-Saxons and the Vikings, and Beowulf is the text that they are studying. In the spring term, we all become explorers. Everybody will be studying a geography topic. And in the summer, we will be creators where the arts is our key focus. Uh, we have funding through the pupil premium subsidy and sports funding. Our pupil premium funding uh, provides us with a quality teaching assistant in every class for the morning. Most classes have teaching assistants for the full day. We have a learning mentor, we also have speech and language, and we have sensory provision from some of our team teaching assistants. So we come to the end of our tour. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at our school. We do hope that you choose us.